Let's not feed into stereotypes here. It smells like grape juice. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. So your girl ordered that mystery box from Juvia's Place. Now the box isn't branded, it's just a regular cardboard mailer, which, you know, I think I paid like $13 for it. I forget how much value it's supposed to have. This was just a cute little Valentine's Day mystery box type thing that Juvia's Place was having. Thankfully, I stumbled upon this sale via Subscription Sisters, okay? She posted in her community tab. I literally bought it the second I saw her post. We're gonna go ahead and get into this mystery box and see what Juvia's Place got in store. The first item that I'm pulling out is a Nubian Glow Lip Balm and it is in Grape Raisin. This is what it looks like. A plus for packaging, very cute. Ooh, it's like a squeezy tube lip balm. I don't really have too many squeezy tube lip balms. Hopefully it smells like grapes. Got a nice little applicator like such. Let me rub a little bit on. This is almost as bad as rubbing cleanser into your skin. I'm just like rubbing lip gloss. It feels good. I'm not gonna lie, it feels really good. It definitely smells like grape. It smells like grape juice. <laughs> Let's not feed into stereotypes here. It smells like grape juice. That's nice. I'm gonna enjoy trying this on my lips. It feels good on my hand. Let's see how it looks on my lips. Not looks, feels. I mean looks and feels. We care about how it looks and we care about how it feels. But I have too much stuff on my lips right now. I don't wanna like dirty up the applicator by putting it over my lip product that I already have on my lip. N now the real question is do it taste like grape? Not that you should be eating your lip gloss, but you know, you, it's on your lips. It's gonna inevitably get into your mouth. So if it tastes good, that just brings another layer of amazingness to it. This next item is a liquid lipstick. Ooh. And it is Cest La Vie. Cest La Vie. I don't know how to pronounce that name of that color. This is just itty bitty and cute. Again, packaging. Ooh, this is fun. Um, It's got some cracking and splitting right there. I don't know if that's a sign that it's old. I'm not sure. Some of you makeup junkies are gonna have to tell me if, if that's a sign that this is old. Maybe if I do like, yeah, that doesn't change anything. <laughs> this almost looks like a nail polish. Like the, the packaging looks almost like a nail polish. Ooh, it's so short and fun. That is very interesting. You get a lot of product on there, which I would prefer that it kind of scrapes off more of it. Let's see how this goes on the skin. It almost smells like chocolate. Is this supposed to? Or am I just hungry? It almost smells like chocolate. It doesn't say that it's supposed to dry down matte or not. That is actually a very pretty red, orange. I think that is so gorgeous. Definitely gonna have to put together a look where I can try that on, because this is beautiful. And I mean, I won't know how it really, really, really feels until I put it on my lips, because the skin on your lips is way different than the skin on your hand. Uh, and then you don't know if it's like, tacky or not. I'm excited to give this a try. Try, try. I'm excited to give this a try and see how it looks on my lips, that is. The next thing is uh, shipping information. The next item that I'm pulling out is the Nubian Intense Pencil Liner in Midnight Blue. Ooh, I don't own any blue eyeliners. I was thinking that I might've gotten that bath water liner from Give Beauty in my icon box, but I didn't get it. This is what she looks like, a little liner. Ooh, okay, that's a decent amount. That's a decent amount, especially since like, who putting blue eyeliner on their eye every single day? So this will last a decent amount of time. She draws on very beautifully. And that's a nice deeper, like navy, like navy kind of blue. Yeah, I'm into to it. Next time I do like a more blue kind of look, I will try this and see if I like it. But that looks pretty and it it's very creamy. It went on very soft. Like it didn't dig into my skin. So I know it's not gonna dig into my eyelashes or my eyelids. It's not gonna dig into my little eyes. Very different. That's exciting and it's different. So I'm very happy that they included a blue liner because you wouldn't think to go and grab a blue liner. So it's just, it's something different. It's fun, it's new, it's innovative. I don't know if it's innovative. Maybe people been doing blue eyeliner for years, but it's just fun to see something so creative in a mystery box. And the final thing is actually a palette, which I think is so cool. Like how am I getting all of these things plus a palette? They might be old. <laughs> this might be some old stuff, who knows? But I don't care, this stuff is good. It's unopened. It 
works like a dream, so I don't really care if it's old or not. The Festival by Juvia, bruh. That is so fun. I think that packaging is just so much fun. That is very cool. I'm guessing the inside is just as beautiful as the outside. ColourPop. I'm sorry I'm on that with ColourPop like that. It's just, they had such beautiful boxes and then the inside was just bleh. I'm still shook it. Okay, I'm still shook it and a little bit hurt, if you couldn't tell. Got nice bubble wrap, bubble wrap on the outside, bubble wrap on the inside, just to make sure your palette gets to you safe and secure. And this is what the inside of the palette, not inside of the palette, but the outside of the inside of the palette looks like. That is so pretty. Woo, these colors are fun. Definitely outside of my comfort zone. Yeah, you don't really have too many neutral looks in here. I'm not gonna lie, when I do my next try on video, which would be hopefully very soon, I'm gonna try this blue with that blue liner. I think that's gonna be so much fun. You got like really big pans. These pans are huge. They're massive. You got so many different colors that you could work with. You got the pops of the pink and the orange and then the blue, that mustard. This is actually really pretty. Let's do some slashes. Okay, I'm gonna do some slashes. It's not too many colors. So I'm gonna do some slashes on my arm and then I will report back to you. These are the swatches. This little middle shade didn't show up as nicely as I was hoping. It's not as pigmented as the rest of the colors, but y'all tell me that blue isn't gonna look phenomenal with that blue eyeliner. And that black is like the first black I've ever seen that wasn't patchy. And this white is so frosty that it's perfect because usually with frosty whites, it just makes you look ashy and it doesn't like let you see how beautiful the color is when you know you're black girl. This palette is perfect, okay? This is the palette. It is absolutely stunning. Cannot wait to play in it. That was everything in my mystery Juvia's Place box. I'm happy, okay? This alone is a hit. I'm very excited to try literally all of these products. There's nothing in here where I'm like, oh, this is boring, I'm not interested in it. I'm literally interested in trying every single item that was in here. This was a banger of a deal, okay? An absolute steal. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.